Now, one thing that's worried a few people are the QTE sequences, but thankfully these aren't of the half-assed variety. They're there to help initiate the next phase of a fight. Final Fantasy VII Remake did something similar, but without the QTEs, where once you did enough damage to an enemy, a cutscene would play to move you to the next phase of the fight. It's the same in 16, except the QTEs are there to keep the player engaged in the fight, so I wouldn't worry too much about those. Next, we saw the Icon Ability Skill Tree, where the new abilities can be learned. What's nice here there's an option for those of us who sometimes get options paralysis and can't decide on what to upgrade next. There will be a handy auto upgrade option where the game will pick an upgrade for you. Next we had a recap of the story focused and action focused modes. What's nice about these options is that the difficulty, enemies, and combat do not change in story focused mode. It'll be just as challenging as the action mode, but with the story mode you'll automatically start out with those timely accessories that will aid you in combat.